another MojoFigures.com video spotlight, but not on the figure this time. Nope, not not at all. Uh, this one is on. This is special. Yeah. You know. Very special. Because usually when we do our reviews, it's for something that's already been out. Or just because came Mattel out. doesn't send us samples. I, you know, I wouldn't even make. I wouldn't even you know mind paying for the figures and, and still getting them. You know, just getting them early so we can yeah. get the reviews up early. But that's a whole different tangent. Right. There is a company that was like, you know what, we're going to send these guys the samples early so that way we can get our review up early. Can you guess which company that is? It's not Mattel. It's if, you, if you said Spy Monkey, you are correct. You are correct. Spy Monkey Creations said, uh, emailed me, Jeremy from Spy Monkey Creations emailed me and said, hey, would you mind if we sent you guys some samples so you could do a review? And I'm like, we were going to buy the sets anyway, but it'd be great if we could put the review up early. Now we can get this up before the stuff goes on sale so you guys can get a better look at it. So, Jeremy and Brian from uh, Spy Monkey Creations sent us two sets of their new Armory series. They sent us the Bloodlust version, which is the red and black version, and the Venom version, which is the green and purple version. I may try my shield ready. Nice work. So, a little backstory on Spy Monkey Creations. We, we did the Chalibius review before, but just to, to, put your glasses on. Just to go back, uh, Spy Monkey Creations started doing these custom weapons a while back for 6-inch figures. They did this, uh, what do I got over here? The sword, the Master Blade of the Empyrean, which is a really cool blade to put with, like, say, Zodak. It's not made for Zodak, but you can put it with him. Yeah. And then they did this uh, Demon Blade, which is really awesome. And then they did some shields. Uh, there's, here's one of the shields right here. That looked kind of cool as the King Rand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then they did the accessory set for tra that you could use with Trap Jaw, the, the Dark Arsenal of the Space Pirate. Which can be interchangeable, and you can plug the pieces into a hilt and things like that. And that you can really see as the stepping stones for where they're at now. Yeah. When we ran into Jeremy at PowerCon, he showed us the prototypes of where they were going, and it was an interchangeable system of weaponry. And we thought it was way cool then, um, but it was still in the early stages. I didn't know how well it was going to work, but now we've got the final product, and I can tell you it works amazingly well. These are so amazing. Yeah. It's either that or this one that's my favorite, mostly because I haven't seen any of the You others. can just make whatever you want, but let's talk about what you get right. to begin with. First of all, there's five different colors of the, the armory. Like I said, we, we got the Bloodlust red and black, we've got the Venom purple and green, but there's also the um, Empyrean, I think is what the set is called, and that's sort of the like the glittery, clearish plastic, I think, with red highlights, which is a lot like the Master Blade set, or the original Master Blade. And then they did uh, the doppelganger version, which, if you were to use it with Faker, it would be a good match for him, because it's orange and blue. And then there is, there's one more, since we've got two, that's two, Cold Steel, which is like a silver and a gunmetal. That would look awesome with Fisto. That would look awesome with Fisto. So, those are the different colorways. Each set includes five weapons that are already assembled, and that is the War Shield. Um, go with the hammer next. No, don't go with the hammer next. It's the don't coolest of the bunch. Me. Don't go with the hammer next. Okay, don't. Um, the Master Blade. Blade. You don't have to hold it up if you don't want. The Master Blade, a which stick. is a lot like their... I think this is the coolest one. It is awesome. It's kind of a cross between the Sword of Ages that they made mm -hmm. and the, the Master Blade of the Empyrean. It's smaller than the Master Blade, but it kind of has those design elements and kind of merged with the Sword of right. Ages. So it's a really cool blend of the two. And then there's the, the Demon Blade. Can I have The Demon Blade, which is a, a like a, a an update on the old Demon Blade, right. and then I think this is called the Falcon Blade. I'm not, I can't remember off the top of my head. And it's a lot like the Demon Blade, but now it's been kind of tweaked to look more like a, a bird. And you know, it, it it works really well, especially in in the other colors like the Empyrean and the. Uh, I'm trouble steel. telling which is which. Well, look, it looks like a bird wing, and then it looks like a bat wing. Sometimes I don't really pay attention, I put oh. the wrong one. Okay. And then the last but not definitely not least is Dominar, which is this, like, brutal-looking hammer axe thing. Can I show them one of the cool switches? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, so y these are the ones that come fully assembled in your set. Mm -hmm. And then you get a, little, a few extra pieces in here, like a bird's head and some other bits and pieces. And the reason they include those other bits and pieces is because all of these weapons are totally customizable. And you will not believe how well... The, if you, you gotta get at least one set. Just so you can see how well this works. It I, just, I'd advise Bloodlust or Venom. Bloodlust or Venom? You like these two sets the best? I like the Bloodlust a lot. I, I think Bloodlust... I don't have Cold Steel yet, but I think it's going to be one of my favorites. 
So these weapons can pull apart into all these different components. Oh, I was gonna you can start pulling stuff apart. And then you get them down to all these pieces. This is like just some sort of... Yeah, you can do whatever. And like this sledgehammer and you can make it and... and get it on here. It's a little tough for kid hands. And you could make but, an axe. Yeah, or you can like flip this piece like this and now it's like a... A club thing. And like you've told me before, these are like barbarian Legos. Exactly. They're like barbarian Legos. Like if a barbarian had all these pieces sitting around, he'd be like, what kind of weapon am I going to make today? I guess I'm going to make myself an axe. Or a hammer. Or so, but there's so many things you can do. And we're not going to spend the whole video just showing all the different things because I, I, I've been going crazy with pictures of these things. Just taking picture after picture after picture of all these different constructions mm -hmm. I've been doing. Um, I have a few constructions. Yeah, you've got some ideas going uh, going already. And we'll update the post as Blaze comes up with more and more ideas. Because what I'm going to do is, since these were review samples, and Blaze is part of my review team, he gets the, the purple and the green one to keep. And um, I'm popping stuff apart as I'm talking to you. Oh, that um, just gave me a good idea. And Keaton idea. gets the black and, and red to keep. You just gave me a good idea. What's that? Pop that off. Like, pop this or something off and, like, take the hammer off. And then, like, the axe off. And I'm just going to leave that there for now. And, like, you can make, like, this hammer slash... Dude, there's so much there. you can do. I mean, it's crazy how many things you can do with these. I, I, I'm not just, like, saying this because I got them as, as, as samples. I'm not... That's not why I'm saying this at all. Because I was going to buy these. I know the quality they put forth. I was going to buy these anyway. So you'd be seeing the same review whether they sent the samples or not. I think these things are incredible. You can keep on working. Um, I'm going to... You you know, you work on whatever you want to work on over there. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the set. Does that work? Yep. Okay. Sometimes it's a little hot. We can add a little hot real quick. Yeah, what do you want? I need this. This into that. And this on. It's not hard for adult hands. It's a little tough for kid hands to, to manage these pegs into there. But that's a good thing. I would rather they be hard to get in and a little tight to get in there than them be flopping all over the place. You want yeah, to go that like, way? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I would want the stuff to stay together. Like, so if this hold on, is, hold on, but okay. so if if it's if it's tough to get them in there and it, it's you know you want to be able to have a little bit of force to put them in there, but it's durable too because the connecting joints are made of a it seems like they're made of a harder plastic than the rest of it. So you don't feel like it's going to break off a peg inside there when you're putting it together. It really feels solid, and I love that you have to get them in there and get them tight together because they're not going to flop around mm -hmm. and pop apart. I'm sorry, you were going to say? Okay, well, it's kind of a strange idea, but if you want, like, to take it apart, make, like, this sword hammer... You know what you could do? What? Take this green blade off. Uh-huh. Take the green blade out of that <laughs> part, <laughs> and then put the other two green blades on the other ends. On each end. You do that. There is one little... Like I said, they all break down. There's little connector pieces. There is one connector piece that's on the bottom of your domino arm when you get it that's a little bit fatter than the other ones. That piece is designed to fit into other things, like, I think the Glyos figures will work with that. Hold on one second. The Glyos figures will work with that, but it also really fits well into Trap Jaw and, you know, um, Hurricane Hordak that have the interchangeable arm pieces so that you can pop stuff into there and start to make your own attachments for Trap Jaw and things like that. Like, right now, I'm just coming up with one right now. I'm making this, this hook hand thing. But there's so much more you can do. What were you going to say, buddy? Um, I was going to say, can I add a little thing extra that you're... Whatever you want to do. Okay. Is what, that's what's great about these. Is that you really can do whatever you want to do with these, these let's weapons. let's say a kid collects he toy. I can't believe this. Oh, uh, uh, they'd be all over it. I mean, there's just... There's so much you can do with these things. I just can't get over the ingenuity that went into this. And the pieces they've chosen. The designs and things like... Like this piece that has a, a peg on one side and then... A peg on each side, and it's got this thin piece in the middle. And it's tough for me to tell you all this because you're in a video watching this, but just take my word for it when I'm saying these pieces are quite versatile. Let me uh, let me find a good piece that can go into this. Give me a second here. Um, I got it. You got what you wanted? And my extra. What you told me to do and this extra. Like so now I, look. Now I put a, the uh, sword on the top, too. That's awesome. Take this. Just take the sword off the top for just a second, though. I just want to show you one thing. Okay, so now take this, mm -hmm. and you plug, you've you got the attachment for trap jaw still on there, what? and now it's like this this whole helicopter. Like if you're trying thing. to escape, you could just do that. Yeah, you just made a helicopter, and you just did that just sitting there. You just went, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make this. 
That's what's awesome, dude. You can do whatever. I feel like I'm an infomercial with this stuff right now. So what but do you mean by that? As in, like, I'm like, oh, this is, this is an incredible product. But this time it, it really is. is an incredible product. There is a reason to be this excited about this. And that's because they did such an amazing job on these. I can't get over this. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they are the... And now, okay, we should talk about where you can get them and stuff like that and how much they cost. The sets are $20 a piece. For that, you get, like I said, those five weapons plus these little extra bits here and there. And the extra bits are perfect choices. 20 bucks a set, five different colors. They go up for sale. This video will probably go up on Thursday. So they'll be for sale the next day on SpyMonkeyCreations.com. I'll link you over. I don't know if that's actually the store, but I'm sure you'll be get linked over that way. So um, if you were to buy all sets, it would be 100 bucks. That Now that seems like a lot of money oh. to spend at once. That seems like a lot of money to spend at once, but think about what all you're getting. And if you can't afford that, then just start with one set. I'm going to get all five sets. And then if they sell them later... Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, it's not, sometimes Spy Monkey stuff sells out, but if they do, I think this is something that they're going to keep in, you know, keep restocking in, you know, over time, I would yeah, hope. Yeah, it'll probably be that good. I, I, I can't see, you know, them only doing one run on these because they're so amazing. But then again, it is also called Spy Monkey Armory Series 1, so they may move to a second series later on, so I wouldn't dilly-dally too much. Well, that would be cool. Definitely pick up one set. Definitely get at least one set. But I can tell you right now, once you get that one set, you're going to be like, I need another set. <laughs> Just sitting here, I've made this grabber claw thing for Trap Jaw. And you're probably going to have to. And now he's got this awesome claw hand thing that he can use. I love these sets. I love them. You still working on something? Uh, I'm trying to... No, no, no. But you know, and little things that I did, at first I didn't notice came off, I noticed later on that they did come off. Like these little tiny skulls on the side of the hammer, those come off. I figured that out like just two seconds ago. Yeah, it's, I, I didn't know that when I first bought the set. And then later on I was like, oh, these things move. Oh, wait, these come off. So those come off. And then like, then I noticed that little peg for trap jaw came off. All those things are, just play around with your set. Don't just be happy with just those weapons. Go crazy with these things because they are awesome. I'm so, I, I know I sound like an infomercial. I know I do. I'm sorry. They're awesome. So you're going to have to deal with the fact that I sound like an infomercial this time. Are you done over there? I need a little... What do you want me to do? This on the bottom. Oh, because you want to make a trap jaw hammer? And that's the other thing that's cool. Is that... Okay, let's say... I'm still going to put this on. Well, hang on. I, I, trap well, hang on. Just let me do something. I'm going to take your design. We're going to keep uh -huh, your design. Uh -huh. I dropped a piece. But that's no big deal. You dropped a piece. I dropped a piece. Where'd that your piece deal. go? Right here, it's the smallest piece of the bunch. Okay, so you've done that. Now, what I'm going to do is, since Trap Jaw is green and black, okay, put this here. The reason I say it's something like an infomercial is because on infomercials a lot, they'll have a thing where, like, let's say they're using the Snack Master. What's the Snack Master? The Snack Master was this nice grilling thing where you took pieces of bread and you filled it with, like, different foods like say cheese and spaghetti sauce, uh -huh. and you put them inside the two things of bread, and then boom, you made your own pizza pockets. And in the infomercial, they would say things like, oh, okay, let's say you're hungry for a ham and cheese sandwich. And they would take the bread and the ham and cheese, and they would make a ham and cheese sandwich, and they would act like they'd just done it. But in this case, and, or that they hadn't planned it or something like that. But in this case, we really haven't been planning this. We've just been sitting here, just playing around with the pieces and making stuff. So now, Blaze, what I've done here is, I've taken your green Ooh. section and put my black stuff around it in the same formation you had to make it match trap jaw a little more. That is awesome. Isn't that cool? But let me see. It's a little long. We might have to shorten that some, but But look at that. I mean, it's it's solid, dude. It's not going anywhere. That's your trap jaw, right? That's my trap jaw, yeah. Okay, so you need the green piece back. That's your green piece. And I need the I'll give you the other piece. Okay, so we're gonna be playing with this thing. I I you know, they sent me these and I've had them for a couple days, and I actually, like, my thumbs are sore because I've been playing with these things so much and pulling the pieces apart and doing different formations and stuff like that. I love them. Thank you guys again for sending them. I would have bought them anyway, but thank you guys for sending them over. This review would have been exactly the same had they sent, not sent them, though. I would still be just as impressed. And I'm still going to be buying my five sets. Like I said, I'm giving these two samples to the kids because I want to support Spy Monkey Creations and what they're doing. They're doing incredible stuff. Uh... Thanks a lot, guys. We can't thank you enough. Um, should we get on this one? Yeah. Go to SpyMonkeyCreations.com. Buy at least one set. 
You may want to buy two, though, because when you get that one set, you're going to want a second set. Right? And if they go off sale, you're going to be sad. Yeah, you're going to be sad. You missed out because we warned you. All right, we signing off? Yep. All right, good journey. We'll see good you guys journey. next time.